Hi and welcome to episode number 475 with whatsforchild.com. Apologies for my absence over the past three weeks. My wife suffered a massive heart attack and almost died. Very fortunately she pulled through and was welcomed back home over the past weekend. So now we're back on track and we will continue with our normal programming, as well as continuing with our distilling series and molecular gastronomy series. In today's episode we're going to make a masterpiece venison liver pate. I'm using kudu liver, but any large deer liver is good. Rinse the liver, then use a sharp paring knife to remove the sinews from the liver. The easiest way to do this is grab any visible sinew with one hand and scrape the flesh from the sinew using the edge of your knife with the other hand. Once the sinew is removed, cut the liver into half inch cubes. Place the cubed liver in a container and pour in enough cultured buttermilk to cover the liver. Place the lid on the container and let this stand in your refrigerator for at least two hours. After this time, place the liver in a colander and rinse it thoroughly under cold running water. Then pat the cubes dry with a dish towel. In the next stages you will need to roughly chop some rosemary, thyme, slice the garlic, cut the spring onion into rounds and measure out the butter. In addition you will need a pinch of each of ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, ground coriander seed, ground clove and ground black pepper. Measure out the brandy, the cream and the melted butter. Heat a large pan over medium heat and add the unmelted butter. When the butter starts to sizzle, add the livers, garlic, rosemary, thyme and spring onions. Saute this for 5 minutes until the whites of the onion are softened and the liver is browned all over. After this time add the dry spices and stir these in until well combined. Pour the brandy in at the edge of the pan and use your gas lighter or blowtorch to set it alight. Make sure you're standing slightly away from the pan to avoid burning yourself. Allow the flames to burn down, then stir everything carefully until they extinguish completely. Then remove the pan from the heat. Pour in the melted butter and cream. Use your stick blender to machine this until fine. You can also do this in a regular blender or food processor. Add extra cream to thin the paste as you go. You want to end up with a very soft paste, similar to anchovy spread. Remember that the paste will firm up considerably on refrigeration and if you don't thin it sufficiently at this stage, you'll find it difficult to spread. Once you're happy with the consistency, season the pate with salt and pepper to taste and stir these in. Tip the pate out into a sieve placed over a bowl. Use a spatula to scrape and force the pate through the sieve. Transfer the refined pate to suitable bowls and flatten out the surface. Melt enough butter to pour over the pate in order to seal the tops of the bowls. Then transfer the pate to your refrigerator to set for at least two hours.
And there it is, an amazing, delicious venison liver pate. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again tomorrow.